Yeah, yeah, you already know what it is, man. Kid Jalo Beats, man. I'm still here rocking out with hotnewhiphop.com. We about to get into my top 10 favorite joints that I produce. Hit records and club bangers and the street records that I produce, you know what I mean? We're gonna start with number 10. I would say Nah Broke by Jeezy on the It's The World mixtape. Really one of my favorite records that I did. Um, you know, Jeezy exceeded my expectations for the record. I always wanted Jeezy on the record, so when I brought it to him and play, played it for him, you know what I mean, he already had it mapped out. I, that was the first beat I played for Jeezy. I played Jeezy one beat. He was like, yo, I got to get on this drink right now. My number nine, um, I would go with Kid Ink, Lost in the Sauce. And this was really different because it was like a street trap type sound, but he was just really being himself and uh, he got a crazy flow on it. You know what I mean? Um, when, I al when I always get in the car and it's cruise out, I like to play that chain. You know what I mean? Or I go to, you know, I go running or something like that. You know what I mean? I just listen to Lost in the Sauce to get me hype and get me ant. Number eight is uh, Chris Brown and Tiger G shit. That record is really like the record that really put me in the people's eye. You know what I'm saying? That put me on for real, for real. Chris was going through his legal issues and uh, they wanted to come back with something hard with the Fan of a Fan mixtape. And, um, you know, we just did the records. I felt like I was a part of him really getting back to where he is now, you know what I'm saying? So that's always gonna be a special record to me. Number seven, we're gonna go with Meek Mill flexing on the Dream Chasers 2 mixtape. That record is just like super turn up, you know what I mean? Meek talking that, he talking that shit on that joint, you know what I mean? Flow is ridiculous. Um, definitely one of my favorite records, man. Me killed that joint. Number six, uh, we gonna get into um, Lil Wayne, Gutta Gutta, Willy Wonka. That's my first record I did with Wayne and Gutta. Um, I really wanted to sample, I, I always wanted to sample the record. And I initially did the record for Meek Mill. DJ Ill Will um, reached out to me and was like, yo, I wanna get Wayne to do this joint. I wanna get Wayne and Gutta on this joint. So I gave it to Ill Will and um, he gave it to Wayne. And then Wayne laid it that night, you know what I mean? And shout out to my boy KP. Um, he Don King the whole situation for me. And um, you know, you know, it's Lil Wayne. And, you know what I mean? Me coming from, you know, Meek Mill, who was on the rise to Lil Wayne, really changed like the game, like get the game for me, you know what I mean? Everybody was looking at me different, like, all right, this kid is serious, you know what I'm saying? So that song put me on another level. Number five, we gonna go with Meek Mill. Amen featuring Drake and Jeremiah. That record was my first um, top 10 Billboard record. You know what I mean? So it's always gonna be special to me. Um, and on top of that, it was getting played on the radio and he's talking about Amen. So it was like, cool, it was like, Jesus walks. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna always think about that record. You know what I mean? The record is super dope to me. Number four, we're gonna go with uh, Meek Mill Burn featuring Big Sean. Now this record, it's stupid in the clubs. And you, you you play this in the house party, you play this in the clubs, it's gonna be pandemonium, period. The energy, the sirens, the hard 808, one of my favorite records ever. So that's why I gave it the number four spot. Number three, Trouble, Leona Lewis. I produced this record with Fraser T. Smith, and this was my first pop record. It made it to the top 10. It made it to number seven over in London. Very dope record. Childish Gambino on it. and um. You know, it's real chill, and uh, it took me to that next level, you know what I'm saying? Let people know that I can do those pop records and I can do those R&B records and, you know, it's something different outside from my street stuff. Number two, we're going to go with Meek Mill, I'm a Boss. Let me tell you why, why Meek Mill, I'm a Boss is number two, because if it wasn't for that record, me and Meek probably wouldn't even be here, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Rose about, you know, for believing in us and doing a record off the strength, you know what I mean? And putting us on the map, you know what I mean? That record got both of us signed. And for my number one favorite record I produce, we're gonna go with Bobby Schmurder, Hot Boy. Now, this is my favorite record right now because this is probably gonna be my first number one. Um, you know what I'm saying? And then how the record came about was crazy and just, now the record is just global, you know what I mean? Everybody from celebrities to kids to somebody grandma doing the shmoney dance, you know what I'm saying? This is a fun record. 
And, um, you know, it's just, it really brought me to another level from, you know, doing street record, mixtape records to doing top charting. Like, this might be my first number one, might be my first top 10 on the Hot 100. You know what I mean? It's gonna take me to that next level. Now the doors is getting knocked down. Everybody want a Jalil beat now. So for that alone is my number one favorite record right there. So that's it, man. You already know what it is, man. I like it. When I first got up with Meek, um, you know, I known him for a little bit and he got locked up. Yeah, he got locked up. He did like, I think like an eight month stretch or something like that. So we have always- Who's a better blonde? <laughs> that's, that. I think he's killing it. Yeah, you'd be, on, you'd be the only one on that one. Snoop Dogg looks pretty hot in that picture. Timbo the king, you know what I'm saying? You know, Timbo is one of the most original producers of all time in this hip hop game.